Hello class, today what we're going to talk about are noun next equations. Um, this is also known as recursive equations. Um, so you're probably going to see them most of the time in most math books or anytime you talk to anybody else about math. You'll know them as recursive equations, but the way that we are going to use them in this class, we're going to call them noun next equations. Um, and basically what it is is you take a sequence of numbers like 1, 8, 15, 22, 29, and we're going to describe how to find that pattern or how to do that pattern. Um, so your, an example might be you write the now next equations for the following sequences. So we have this sequence 1, 8, 15, 22, 29. So what you want to do is figure out what we're doing each time to get to the next number. So we're going to take, I take whatever I start with. So you always have to write your starting spot. So you're going to write start equals whatever we start with, which is a 1. Then we're going to say now. So you're taking whatever number you're looking at now. So it might be the 1, it might be the 8, it might be the 15. What am I doing to that number to get to the next one? So what am I doing to get from that 1 to 8? And it looks like we're going to add 7. So then you want to check and make sure you're doing the same thing. So 8 to 15, we add 7. You want to do the same thing each time. So I'm adding 7. I add 7, so I'm taking my now, I'm adding 7 to get to the next number. I'm taking my now, add 7 to get to the next number. So the way that this looks is now plus 7 equals next. So you want to write the word out now plus 7 equals next. So let's do the same thing for the next one. I got 2 and 4, 8, 16, 32. So what does it look like I'm doing this time? So First, start out with my start equals first number in the sequence, which is a 2. So I'm going to take my now, and it looks like I'm multiplying by 2. Then I got 2 times, or 4 times 2 gives me 8. 8 times 2 gives me 16. 16 times 2 gives me 32. So I'm taking my now times 2 equals my next number in my sequence. So that's how we do now next equations. So now let's go a little bit farther in depth with another example. I want to write the now next equation for these sequences. Then I want to find the tenth term. So we want to go a little bit farther in the sequence, figure out what the tenth term is. So figure out my start. You always have to write the start in there. So my start is going to be 26. And it looks like I'm taking my now, and I'm subtracting 6 each time. So I'm taking my now, minus 6, gives me my next number. And then I want to find the tenth term. So this is my first term, this is my second term, this is my third term, this is my fourth. Okay? What I want to do is find the tenth one. So I'm minusing 6, minusing 6, minusing 6, and I want to keep going. So my next number in my sequence would be a 6. So I'm going to keep on going. So I'm going to go 8 minus 6 equals 2. Then my next number would be negative 4. So that's 5, that's 6. Negative 10 is 7. Negative 16 is 8. Negative 22 is 9. And then negative 28. That's going to be my 10th term. So first term. Let's make this a little bit clearer. All right, so I got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. All right, so that would be my tenth term. All right, so that takes a little bit more and takes a little bit longer to do that one. Um, and what we're going to do next, after we go over this example, I'll show you how to do it in the calculator. Um, so this one, looks like we're dividing by 2, dividing by 2, dividing by 2. So I'm going to make sure I write my start in there. Start equals 96. Taking my now. Each time I divide it by 2 equals my next. 
All right, so now I need to find that 10th term. So I'm going to keep on writing. So my next term will be 6 then 3, 3 halves, then 3 fourths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10th. So that is my 10th term. You could also put that in calculator and have a decimal answer if you wanted to, which would be fine. All right. Now, for the calculator, because that took a long time to get the 10th term. So now, let's see how we can do it in the calculator. So, in your calculator, what you want to do first is type the first term in the sequence. So you're automatically just going to put the first term. So, let's use this as our example. 3, 5, 7, 11. Looks like we're adding 2 each time. So first thing I'm going to do in my calculator, so you get your calculator, turn it on. What I'm going to do first is type in my 3. So you see I get 3, then I'm going to hit enter, so then that moves it on. And so then I'm going to type in my operation. So we said that we're going to add 2, so we're going to plus 2. All right, so it looks like that it has that A and S in there. Then you hit enter. That's going to give you your next term. So I got my 5. So I want to find the 15th, so I'm going to keep hitting enter until you reach your final term. So I'm just going to keep hitting enter. So right now I'm at my uh, second term. So this is my 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and then we're done. So check out my answer. So the 31st. or 31 is going to be my 15th term. And that's how you do it in your calculator. If you have a TI-83, it's not going to write the A and S plus 2 each time, but it's still going to give you that next term in the sequence. So that's okay as well. Um, and that's the faster way to find the however far down the road that term is in your calculator. Um, and that is now next, equations.